the uh, bustling, growing area yeah. of Youngsville. As it continues to expand, the more the city council has to deal with. And Youngsville City Councilman Matt Romero joins us on the phone now. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Bernie and Rob. Thank you for having me. Oh, we, we appreciate the chance to be able to, to talk with you this morning. All right, so along with that hustle and bustle, boy, it just seems like um, y'all got a lot going on in Youngsville. I'm correct, yeah? Absolutely. We always uh, have full agendas and uh, full rooms for our council meetings, so it's always uh, uh, engaging from our citizens and uh, enjoyable to be there. I would imagine so. All right, let's kick it off talking about a little bit about fire protection uh, you know, fire department, et cetera. Matt, give us kind of an idea. What is your current situation and status with fire protection in Youngsville, and what are you hoping to accomplish? And uh, what about the money to make it happen? Yeah, right now, uh, you know, the fire department's been very patient. Uh, they've taken a back seat to our police department with the rapid growth. We've had to deal with that due to the influx of uh, people and the large growth. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fire department recently, they have been uh, getting with us over the last several months, and it is going to be a work in progress to uh, grow their department and uh, build a new substation, uh, hopefully get them a new truck. But we, uh, last night, with the uh, mayor's uh, suggestion, we decided to go ahead and earmark close to 300000 Wow. put that to the side, and uh, make sure that we have funds available for the next budget year to go ahead and budget for that growth and to work with them in a partnership uh, to hopefully, you know, get them to uh, to where they need to be for our better fire rating, ultimately. Yeah, that, I'm sure that's what everybody wants because everybody wants to pay a lower rate, you know. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, all right, part of this, you know, expansion in, in Youngsville is, you know, it's, I tell you, it's wonderful to have these issues. Y'all are talking last night about purchasing two motorcycles. So tell me a little bit about that request from uh, the police chief, Ricky Boudreau. Yeah, uh, Chief Boudreau uh, got uh, got on the agenda for the council to review the uh, purchase of two of uh, Lafayette's uh, police uh, bikes, motorcycles, oh. um, fully equipped. Uh, basically, all he's going to have to do is uh, restripe them with our logos. Yeah. Uh, they're ready to go, put in service. And uh, he feels that this will be good not only for community events, Mardi Gras, also, he does a lot of the sharing of officers throughout other municipalities. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants to be able to send people on bikes to those uh, events. But then it also just help with traffic and uh, whether it be school getting out or uh, monitoring people uh, driving throughout the city. Yeah. So uh, we decided to go ahead, and uh, it was a good deal for him, he felt. And uh, um, the numbers are there, and uh, he had the money available. So we decided to go ahead and move forward with that for him and his department. Great. That's excellent, too. Youngsville Recreation Center. Tell me about the big kickoff. Uh, sounds like it was greatly successful. It was. We had we had definitely about over 155 people at the event. Uh, we had uh, some little exhibition games of volleyball, basketball, uh, and pickleball, of course, is going on. Uh, kind of another <laughs> version of your volleyball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and it's been great. Uh, we have it fully operational. It's open for our uh, – for the citizens and people to come and use when there is free play available. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, we'll once uh, mid-summer, uh, end of summer, we'll have volleyball registration starting, and yeah. that'll be the next uh, sport kicking off with our program. So what about um, different sponsorships and whatnot? Are y'all working towards that? We are. Uh, last night we also uh, approved for the mayor to go into negotiation with uh, AdWorks to mm -hmm. go ahead and be our uh, – our go-to person for sponsorships. Uh, it is something we're going to take our time with as far as the recreation center. Mm -hmm. We don't want to have wall-to-wall -wall logos everywhere. We want it to be very tasteful and mm -hmm. look great. So I think there's a good compromise there, and there's a great opportunity because with our uh, recreation program and our sports complex, we do have numerous sponsors, and it still looks great out there. And they've been great to work with, and it definitely helps out uh, being able to run some of those programs and have those facilities open and pay for personnel as well. Yeah, absolutely. Now, as you get head into the continual growth um, in Youngsville, did you ever think that you would see so much progress in such a short span of time? Uh, absolutely uh, not. It's uh, <laughs> uh, we. I remember when I before I came to office, I talked to several council members, the prior mayor, and yeah. they said, you know, we're growing so fast, so many things going on. And it's amazing. We're only in year two, and 
the list of things that we've accomplished, we've attacked, we've taken care of, and that we continue to work on. Uh, it, it's just great. It, it's great to be part of it. I know I, I speak for the rest of the council. They're as excited as I am and the mayor. And it, It's great being part of this uh ever-growing community now for those who have ideas and thoughts because you know everybody's got an opinion <laughs> yeah. how do they get how do they get in touch with you in particular and and maybe the council as a whole uh, absolutely uh we of course have our website uh and you can go to that website uh, youngvla.gov and you can find all of our contact information under mayor or city council email some of us have our phone numbers there for public uh, record mm -hmm. uh, I'm I along with a lot of the other council and the mayor are always available to talk to anybody because at the end of the day this is not just it's not our city it is the citizens it's all of our cities all 13,000 of us so we mm -hmm. want to make sure we're taking care of everything that we can for everybody absolutely and finally it was a successful uh, movie in the park, so you'll you will have yeah. another one, but it'll be kind of when the kids are heading back to school. Yeah, we decided uh, because of all the sports going on and people out of town, uh, the movie in the park was a huge success uh, thanks to Cox Communications, uh, some of the other uh, the uh, staff at the sports complex. Uh, they, everything was great, so we decided uh, with Cox agreeing to help us out, we're going to be doing three more of these series. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next one will be August, kind of a back to school. We haven't set the exact date yet, but we're definitely going to have that. And then we hope sometime October and maybe around the holiday, November, December to wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, we had over 200 and something people out there, families. It was the best sight to see when the sun was setting, that movie started playing and all those families just sitting around having a good old time. Yeah, It's exactly what Youngsville is all about. Well, our Youngsville Councilman, Matt Romero, who is gracious enough to join us, thank you so much for your time this morning, kind of updating us what's happening uh, in your booming metropolis now of Youngsville. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I, I appreciate y'all having us on and uh, being uh, interested in Youngsville. It's great. Absolutely. Have a great weekend, Matt. Okay. Same to y'all. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Wow. I got